You know that this observatory is a, what we call a service mode observatory, which means that any astronomer who wants to use our observatory and get his or her proposal accepted will not come here to take the data. We will take that data for them and we will send a final product to them. So when I'm here as an astronomer on duty, my main job is to go through the list of all the accepted proposals and choose the best one depending on their ranking and the technical and, um, and weather constraints we have at that moment. Let's say that, for example, we observe a galaxy. We also observe quasars that are beyond them. And we measure their flux, the energy that comes from, from them per time. That amount of flux will be used as a flux calibrator for the science target we are observing, in this case, the galaxy. It's basically a, a way to monitor and calibrate the amount of energy we are measuring from the object we are observing. So these are actually captured and plotted and um, analyzed by uh, uh, their discovery is made possible by the large data set that we produce. And of course the problem with near-Earth Earth objects, or even far-Earth objects for that matter, is that if you only have two or three points to, to judge them by, the orbital, if they're, if they're orbital, or their trajectory parameters are very rough. So you get things like, uh, well, we think that this uh, asteroid is going to pass um, uh, pass us at a distance of X number of kilometers. Uh, but the error margin sort of includes uh, 2X. So then people get nervous. Uh, so we're trying to use the, the data from the dark energy camera to also refine the trajectories of objects other than planets and stars in galaxies in our, in our uh, near vicinity. And then when I am in Santiago, my main duty is to analyze the data we take for calibration purposes, you see. We cannot only take science data. We need to observe some objects in the sky and we monitor their behavior in time so we can be sure that the result we are uh, giving to the principal investigator is an accurate result. 